Hi there. An interesting week of weather ahead, a new month, a new meteorological season, and a real change in the weather by the weekend to this sort of thing. Low pressure firmly in charge, that low sitting to the southwest of the UK, sending weather fronts in. Those weather fronts will contain heavy rain or showers and tightening isobars for many, leading to increased wind. So it will feel much more autumnal by Saturday and Sunday, but for the final couple of days of meteorological summer, well, high pressure is in charge. That high pressure is sitting to the north of the UK. And we've got a keen easterly breeze for many southern and eastern areas, and that breeze bringing a couple of showers in. But for the vast majority, with that high pressure in charge, well, it's fine weather once again as we start off Wednesday. Plenty of sunny skies first thing. A fresh feel, I think, first thing, especially where we see light winds overnight and a bit of shelter in the countryside. But otherwise, the cloud will build. Showers in the east, on the east coast first thing will develop a bit more widely across central areas, northern England, north Midlands, north Wales by the afternoon. But these showers will be few and far between. For many, it's sunny spells. And feeling cool on the east coast and uh, quite a blustery day once again along the English Channel coast. But where we get a bit of shelter from the wind, 25 or 26 Celsius is possible in the south. High teens, low 20s further north. A repeat performance on Thursday, the first day of September, of course. September starts how August finishes off with that high pressure to the north of the UK, an easterly breeze, one or two showers through these central zones, but otherwise plenty of sunny spells. And again, temperatures reaching the low to mid-20s in the south, high teens, low 20s further north. The cloud will thicken up across the Outer Hebrides, I think, later Thursday. First sign of a change on the way later this week as the jet stream dips to the south across Iceland and Greenland. And this fast-flowing jet stream picks up a weather front and develops into quite an area of low pressure on Friday. That's initially affecting northwestern parts of the UK. And at first it will bring some heavy showers to the Western Isles could bring some heavier rain into the rest of Western Scotland later in the day, as well as parts of Northern Ireland, mainly to the west. But there'll also be one or two showers developing ahead of that across, say, central, southern and eastern parts of England. Away from those showers, though, lighter winds in the south and still feeling relatively warm, 23 to 25 Celsius, high teens, low 20s in the north. So we cling on to some of that late summer warmth for one more day before things turn much more unsettled by the weekend. The weather front in the northwest swings south and southeastwards, and low pressure then starts to sit just to the southwest of the UK. That will send weather fronts in from the west, and these weather fronts will contain a great deal of moisture as well. We could also see a plume of humidity and rain or showers or even thunderstorms affect central and southern parts of the UK ahead of the main areas of rain in the west and so there's the risk of 50 millimetres or more in the space of 24 hours on Saturday across central and southern parts of the UK. We need the rain but it's a risk because that kind of rainfall could cause some issues in some spots so some surface water flooding, tricky driving conditions and so on. Now for the rest of Scotland into northeast England it may well stay dry through Saturday but with an increased breeze making it feel cool whilst rain or showers will erratically affect western fringes of the UK and then those rain and shower bands start to spread more widely across the UK on Saturday night and into Sunday. Although northern areas again could stay largely dry especially towards the northwest of Scotland albeit on the breezy side with quite a gusty wind and the risk by Sunday of gales for exposed parts of northeast Scotland. So it's going to feel much more autumnal on Saturday and Sunday with some heavy rain in places and an increased wind, especially in the north. We need the rain, so uh, hopefully we'll get some useful rain out of it. But it will keep updated right here at the Met Office.